Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try show you a bunch of techniques that you can use to create really awesome palette knife textures with your colors. So now I've chosen these colors on purpose because I know that I'm going to mix them together and I know that these color ranges work really well together. They're called analogous or they're cool colors with a little bit of yellow. Yellow isn't cool, but they're on the same kind of neighborhood in the color wheel so i know when they mix together they're going to make good mixtures and they're not going to kind of create that muddy brown if i were to add something across the color wheel so i'm going to take a little bit of yellow a little bit of green and you notice that it's on my palette knife as separate colors what we're aiming for is to get like a little bit of mixture but not overly mixing so there you go two two colors kind of patting it okay and but i'm not overworking it because i want to have areas of green and areas of yellow it's already done that took like oh, a second and a half right all right, all right so i'm going to try three different colors um, blue white and dark green and again i'm going to pat it down pat a few times and done Okay, so now I still have dark green. I've got some mixer, the turquoises, um, and the yellow little splotch in the middle. I don't want to overmix it because what happens if you overmix it? Well, you're just going to get color mixed colors, right? Which is fine, but I don't. I don't want to mix colors. I want to kind of get a marbled effect. So the more that I keep on mixing it, this is going to be one color. Okay, and I'm aiming to get a variety of colors on there uh, another thing that you can do is you can do one color at a time so i can go lay in one color rant, 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 just a random shape okay then pick up a different color and kind of go beside it have a little bit of overlap and then pick up another color marble it beside it and have a different color Okay, so there's another technique where you, instead of putting them on the palette knife at the same time, you are doing one at a time and you're laying it on the paper at the same time. The third technique you can try is actually putting a little dab of the paint on the paper. All right, so I'm going to do kind of like three different dabs, maybe four. And it's not very much, right? It's like a little not even the size of the end of the pencil. All right, so now I've got four blobs on the paper itself. And now I'm gonna take the palette knife and I'm gonna smear. I'm gonna kind of smear it on there. Okay, and now you get kind of like a smoother effect. Kind of put them up together and then I get on my, I'm gonna scrape, just scrape. And when you scrape, you get kind of cool textures that look like marble, all right? So that's where that marbling happens. And you can mar and you can do it again, but just realize the more you do it, the more you're going to get to this point where it's all just one color. 